Starting in iOS 18 and iPadOS 18, you can use eye tracking on your iPhone and iPad to help you navigate your device using just your eyes. Here's how. Eye tracking is compatible with iPad 10th generation, iPad with A16, iPad Air 4th or 5th generation, iPad Air with M2 or later, iPad Pro 11 inch, 3rd to 6th generation, iPad Pro 12.9 inch, 5th or 6th generation, and iPad Pro with M4, as well as iPad mini 6th generation, iPad mini with A17 Pro, iPhone 12 or later, including iPhone 16e and iPhone SE 3rd generation. For the best results, it's important to ensure that you're positioned properly. Your device should be on a stable surface and should be about one foot away from your eyes if you're using an iPhone or one and a half feet away if you're using an iPad. Your front-facing camera should have a clear view of your face, which should be adequately lit. Ready? Let's set up eye tracking. In settings, you or your trusted supporter should tap Accessibility. Scroll down and tap Eye Tracking under the Physical and Motor section. Here, you'll find customizations you can set up with eye tracking, depending on your preferences. For example, the smoothing slider adjusts the pointer movement. Increasing makes the pointer movement smoother, and decreasing makes the pointer movement more responsive. Snap to item automatically moves the pointer to an item on the screen that's closest to where you're looking. And if you turn on Zoom on Keyboard Keys, the section of the keyboard you are looking at will magnify when you type. Auto Hide automatically hides the pointer while your eyes are moving and shows it when you hold your gaze steady. When you're ready, you or your trusted supporter should tap to turn on eye tracking to begin a calibration process. Follow the dot with your eyes as it moves around the screen. Continue the process until it's complete. After eye tracking is calibrated, a pointer appears on the screen and follows the movement of your eyes. An outline appears around any item you look at and Dwell Control turns on automatically, which performs the tap action by default. When you gaze at an item on the screen, the dwell timer begins, and a circle starts to fill in around the pointer. And when it finishes, the action is performed. You can also change what method you use to perform the tap action at any time in settings. To perform additional on-screen gestures or button presses, you can use the Assistive Touch menu which also appears automatically when you turn on eye tracking. When eye tracking is on, just look at the screen where you want to move the pointer and hold your gaze steady on an item to tap it. We're going to open Photos and select a photo. This was a fun day. Let's send this to a friend. Hold your gaze on the Share button to tap it and select how you want to share it. We'll send this to our friend using messages. Gaze at the keyboard keys to type a message. And gaze at the send button to tap it. If you need to recalibrate eye tracking, just hold your gaze steady at the top left corner of your screen and the calibration process will begin. And that's how to set up and use eye tracking so you can control your iPhone or iPad with the movement of your eyes. Some sequences in this video were shortened.